y'all welcome back to our channel today we're going to talk about your older stories we all have them some of them are embarrassing <laughs> and how to know if your if your story needs a renaissance do we need to have a rebirth for your story and if so how do you do that and if not how do you know when to let it go recently you decided to take your very first story that you put up on wattpad trust and you are doing or you just finished it a complete overhaul new cover new headers new we even went through the blurb together and tried to make sure that we were really attracting the type of people we think would enjoy the story and you rewrote the crap out of that story like it is a completely new fun story that i think you're pretty proud of now Thankfully, we have Rachel here, and Rachel's going to talk a little bit about how these things apply to her, so you can kind of get an idea of, yeah, this might be something I need to consider doing. The first thing you need to look at is, do you still love the story? I mean, if you are still 100% into this story, and this is still a book baby for you, and, and you're feeling like it's gotten a little stagnant, then you should really take a look at it so don't waste your time on something you're not still in love with let them go mm -hmm. so if you still love that story the next thing to look at is your writing have you grown as a writer are your skills different now and does this story need to reflect that for me that answer was big fat yes um i wrote trust in 2016 it's like five years ago that's before i even knew what wattpad was it wasn't terrible or i wouldn't have posted posted it to begin with but now after five years of growing and writing more and more not only alone but writing with you and growing so much as a writer i looked back at some of the things that i wrote in there and was like what the hell like <laughs> for example i used to use so many ellipses so I took out almost all of the ellipses. Um, I fixed dialogue tags. I overused those. There was a time in my life where I really thought that everything needed a dialogue tag. I took out immature phrases. I couldn't believe I still had, I released a breath I didn't know I'd been holding. I thought I had removed all of those from my head. <laughs> it's gone now, thank God it's gone. I closed up a few little plot holes um, that were here and there. Um, so I did a lot that really sort of reflects where I am now. Going along with that, has your story dated itself? Are you using pop culture references? Are you using dates and you really don't need to be using dates? We talked about this in a prior video, but it's something you really should look at because when you date it, people don't feel like they're there sometimes unless it's really, really specific for that reason that you're using that date. But if you're using a random year like 2016, you might want to make a change. Yeah, and I, I did that. Um, I, I did that because I, a lot of my story was told through journal entries, um, which uh, it, they're all gone, thank God. Um, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. But I took out all the dates. I took out almost every pop culture reference um, besides things that are sort of timeless that anybody could pick, the, pick up the book and know what that is um, at any point. So I left a few, um, not that many. And I almost mentioned no name brand um, with the exception of the iPhone. But just about everything else is just, just general, general things. The next reason your story might need a rewrite is are readers pointing out plot holes or problematic things that your character does. Uh, we always are changing and growing as a society, uh, learning to be more compassionate to others. So there might have been things that a few years ago everybody was you know, going along and the masses were okay with, and now the masses are not okay with. So do we need to make some of those changes to take that stuff out? So we're not, you know, sending, making people have a bad taste in their mouth about your story. Yeah, I had one of those. Um, I had a lot of comments from readers. Um, I had a plot point where um, the main character technically cheats on her boyfriend. People were like, no, that's still cheating. I hate her. Like I got lots of like, I hate her. And I'm like, oh like okay and I, I i think a lot of it like i think some of the comments i got were just hating on her as a character i i see that all the time like people hating on our female characters it's really disheartening but as i saw more and more people commenting on it i was like okay i need to change that that took a like big 
rewrite. Like I had to change the way I did a lot of things with um, that particular triangle. I mean, I guess I hate to call it that, but it was the triangle. So I had to do a lot of, of changing for that. And I feel, I feel better about it now. Um, and I think that my readers will feel better about it. Your story might need a rewrite if you are looking at the actual format of it. So Rachel just talked about the journal entries. So that type of thing or the POV, the tense, is it past, present, is it not working for what the story is? I didn't have, I, I did write in past tense and I don't write in past tense anymore very often. So it was too much work to change it. So it, it, it's still in past tense. So that wasn't really a problem. That's just a personal preference now. Um, but I did have a problem with that formatting and I never really would have even thought about it if um, I, I sent my story in for feedback from stars and they told me uh, that the journal entries are making it very discombobulated and very like just jarring like the transition between chapter to journal entry was so like in and out just like jerking in and out of the scene and once I read it like that with that feedback in mind I was like oh they're right <laughs> So um, taking out those was hard too, um, because I had to change the way I wrote um, a lot of the plot points and I had to change the way um, some yeah. things went down because they weren't a journal entry anymore. I had to actually, you know, show them happening or I just, you know, glossed over them and mentioned them in passing. This point is kind of catering to the masses and if you're writing in a uh, an adult setting and that is, did you start off maybe not feeling very comfortable with the love scenes and now you are and luck they are a selling point sex sells guys and or maybe you overdid them and now you're kind of regretting that and you feel like it's overtaken the plot of your book that might mean it's time to rewrite i was comfortable the not comfortable <laughs> now i'm comfortable again so um i did put in I put the spice back in and I shouldn't say I put it back in I completely rewrote it um I didn't put in the old scenes that I had before I added in you know scenes uh probably like four four or so spicy scenes before the mature button was pressed only for violence and sexual assault um but now it's mature because of sexual content also so go read spice. it if you want some spice there's some chilies <laughs> in there guys there's some chilies <laughs> I you know I love this one is your story and this isn't in so much a rewrite as it is a rebranding is maybe your cover dated is it not popping the way it should is it looking a little janky you might need a new cover I definitely needed a new cover um it was great it was a great cover you made it um it was beautiful um, but I do feel like it wasn't pulling in the people the way I wanted it to and styles have changed even over the past like year We've seen a lot of this black and white with the pop of color um, And you made me a beautiful new cover that I love and it looks so good on my page so good on my Instagram it looks so awesome I love it. We changed the name of my book. Um, I felt like it needed another word um, Trust I feel like I see a lot of stories named trust on Wattpad if you search and trust there's a whole bunch of them um, so we wanted to add in um, another word to it. Um, I really am enjoying the new flair. I love it. It's awesome. And it makes, it does make it feel like a brand new story. Sometimes stories are just not salvageable. Um, if you aren't afraid to let a, an agent or publisher come in and look at the story, then leave it up. But if you just there's just nothing good about it. You, it's dated. It's just a, it's like polishing a turd. If that's the case, <laughs> let it go. <laughs> just, it's, there's nothing you I can do about it. Out, I want to point out, I want to point out that I, that was my free. <laughs> I don't know why I'm proud of that, but <laughs> I am. <laughs> but it is polishing a turd. Remember that if you're polishing a turd, stop it. That's the mini story time about my rewriting of Trust and why I decided to rebrand it as Cruel Trust. I would love it if you would go and read it on my profile. I don't know when this video comes out, there may be 10 chapters up, who knows. But there's at least five chapters up as of June, whatever the hell day this is. I didn't sleep at all last night, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's want pad, because she's so tired, she didn't even think to tell you where to go, is Eternal Felicity. 
And after you go and check out Cruel Trust, head on over to Crystal and Felicity and go read some great paranormal romances. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss a Friday upload. And as always, write what you love.